Hello, this is Sjoerd de Vries from Mr. You Perform, and in this short demo tutorial, I will show you um, how to work with uh, server conflicts when your colleague updated uh, a version on uh, the server and you're also working on it. Um, this demonstration is valid for uh, at least Uperform 5.43. Um, at least it might be in a previous version as well, but at least in 5.43, uh, uh, there is an opt update on this specific uh, uh, behavior. Um, so let's assume I'm working on my workstation now on this simulation and I'm just adding a small tooltip or a small, let's uh, just uh, put a small note here. New version. Um, I check it in. On the server, nothing new here. However, now I pretend I'm my colleague and I'm working on another machine. So I just open another machine. Um, this machine is a virtual machine. However, it's still a, another machine. Here I'll have uh, my simulation. And I worked uh, also on the simulation. And if I open this up, it will always check if this is the latest version. Um, it will indicate now there is a newer version because uh, let's assume that my colleague has uh, checked in the newer version on my uh, on the system on the server system and now it will indicate that's a newer version. Of course, you need then uh, to have access to the server. Um, so always check that uh, if there's no warning message. If there is a warning message, you know actually that there is a server connection. Server connections can be viewed um, in the lower right corner here. You see connected and the left part is the status indication. Um, as you can see, you do not see the latest version in here because I just added a note in here. That's because it will always open up the, the same version, the current version that you are currently opening up and it just gives you a warning message. So be very uh, aware of that. Um, in the file menu, you will see an option, get latest version. This is very easy and very useful. Um, just click on get latest version and it will say that, uh, again, the file has been modified and it's downloading the file on the, uh, from the server. And it's override your local file. And here we'll have the newer version. Let's assume um, I delete this. Uh, and go. Let's, let's go back to the same version. The only thing that I want to show you, because this is pretty easy. Um, let's go back to the file here uh, as my other colleague. Let's assume that the other colleague also makes uh, a change in the title. Oh, should not change. I just put an updated in the file name. And <clears throat> if I check uh, this simulation in now on the server, it will also um, put this, this file in with this file name. This is also the trick to, to change the file name on the server. Just change it locally, then check it in. Just for, I just create another balloon here. Um, then you know um, this is the second newer version. Check in the file. All right, go back to my other machine. As you can see here, the file does not have updated in the file name. <clears throat> so will it recognize that there is a new version? Yes, it does. It's currently not in my system, so I'll have to click on get latest version here, <coughs> download it, and save it locally. Take note, however, that the file name is not changed. So um, the procedure that's <coughs> uh, what's followed now is that uh, the latest version is saved 
with this file name actually, which means that if I check it in again, for example, I just delete these ones because uh, I do not want these in my simulation. I check in the current file. It will actually check in the file with the normal file name. So <coughs> the only way of working um, to get the new file name, of course, you can change it locally. <coughs> or in this case, if I open uPerform, there's always a, a, a way that you can say, well, I do not want to open the local files. I just want to open it from the server. And if I open it from the server, in this case, what's the Dutch file for this one? As you can see, it's downloading the current server version. And that latest version that was on the server actually was this one, as you can see from the timestamps. Um, so if you work with multiple authors on one document, it is recommended to at least take a close look at these warning messages. Use the get file option. And if you, for specific reasons, change file names, um, make sure that your colleague actually download it directly from the server, uh, else you will constantly overwrite each other file names. It will not conflict with the content of the file, but it can be a little bit inconvenient. Uh, thanks for watching. This was Mr. Uperform, and talk to you later.